Hello, my name is Jonathan, and I would like to talk about the humor uh, in The Graduate. Uh, there's a little slapstick comedy, not uh, although nobody falls down at the expense of a laugh. Uh, there is uh, some very funny sexual awkwardness at the expense of uh, Ben, uh, like in the first bedroom scene where Mrs. Robinson undresses and he's doing everything to avoid looking at her uh, naked body and cursing all over the place uh, but he can't help to look and once he does he, he uh, moves his eyes away and uh, regrets it and then he does it all over again and also in, in uh, while Mrs. Uh, uh, Robinson is undressing again in the hotel room Benjamin uh, walks over to her uh, sheepishly <laughs> with no confidence at all and just cups her breast and uh, it's just too funny. Uh, another visual other visual humor is the very uh, clumsy uh, scuba suit that he wears and it's interesting because first you laugh at him and then we look through his point of view and it gets really uh, almost dark and we're just alone with him uh, looking through his goggles for just two minutes and it goes from uh, funny but then uh, it goes from funny but then really uh, depressing uh, another another awkwardness of Ben I think what most uh, you can most see it clearly is just the funny way that he hunches over, especially when after he's bought the wedding ring for Elaine. Uh, that's a that isn't your typical uh, surfer dude uh, stature. He's he's hunched over and it's really um, just humorous. Uh, the other kind of humor is just the ironic, witty wordplay, like words, like, uh, lines like "Are you here for an affair?" or when Mr. Robinson suggests to Ben that he go sow some wild oats, unbeknownst to him that he will do so with his wife. Uh, the humor seems to recede in about the last half hour of the movie. It gets more dramatic and. Uh, I think the last, the last real l laugh is um, when Ben shouts out in the theater if uh, the guy proposed to Elaine in the back of the car. And you don't really think of The Graduate as a comedy, um, especially after having having not seen it for a while. But after you watch it, you remember how funny it is, and I think it's. It's this, and along with its anti-authoritarian uh, message that really makes it a lasting, memorable movie.